Okay, so the truth is you're working way too hard. Using artificial intelligence, I now do about five hours of work in just 15 minutes. Whether it's writing emails, coming up with creative ideas, summarizing stuff I watch, read and listen to, or doing super efficient research into things that interest me, there are AI tools out there to make all this stuff literally 10 times easier for myself. I guess AI is a bit like having a super intelligent robot psychic that's by your side 24 hours a day, ready to help you out with whatever you need, and it's only getting more and more powerful every single day. So let me show you the six AI tools that I use right now to level up my productivity in everyday life. Okay, first we've got ChatGPT, and this is one of the most exciting pieces of AI tech out there, and literally everyone on the internet seems to be talking about it. So it's essentially just a large language model that's been developed by OpenAI that's been trained on a whole ton of data from across the internet. Now, it isn't really worth us getting too bogged down in the details, but essentially it allows us to automate pretty much any task that involves natural language. For example, I can ask ChatGPT here to give me a list of potential video ideas for this video. So, let's do that now. So as you can see, it's come up with some half decent ideas as to the sort of title ideas that I could use for this video. Another way that we can use ChatGPT is to be pretty broad in our approach, in that we could ask it a question like, how can I use AI to improve my personal productivity? And then it will just spit out some suggestions as to the sort of things that I can talk about in this video. So let's give that a go right now. As you can see then, it's a bit like having your own personal assistant 24 hours a day, and it's bloody brilliant. In fact, I love ChatGPT so much, I've now downloaded this Chrome extension called Merlin. And Merlin lets me basically more quickly and seamlessly interact with ChatGPT as I browse the web. So for example, if I'm on like a random web page, for instance, my own article here, and I don't really wanna read everything, I can get Merlin to summarize the page for me. So all I need to do is basically copy everything that's on the page, like so, then press Command and M, and then Merlin will pop up. And all I need to type in is summarize, and then Merlin will, you know, cast its spell, do its magic, and essentially summarize that page for me. And so, if something sounds cool or interesting, if I like those key takeaways, then I probably will read the entirety of the article myself, but basically Merlin saves me a whole ton of time and effort from having to read this stuff, and does all the heavy lifting for me. If ChatGPT sounds quite interesting to you guys, I have linked my very own cheat sheet for ChatGPT below this video, and essentially that includes all the relevant questions and prompts that you can ask ChatGPT to get the most out of it. Okay, so next up we've got Ghostwrite. Now, I get loads of emails every single day asking for pretty similar things. Like, I have people asking me for study advice, I have ask, people asking me to jump on a Zoom call, and things like that. And getting back to all of these people would be a very repetitive and time-consuming task. So I wanted a faster way to reply to all of these emails, and this is where Ghostwrite comes in. All we need to do then is to download the Ghostwrite Chrome extension, and then every time we reply to an email, Ghostwrite will pop up asking us if we want to use AI to construct the email. For example, here's an email I got earlier asking for some advice on how to study when you feel tired. Now, the old school way of replying to an email like this would go something like, Dear Donald, thank you very much for the email. I'm sorry to hear that you're having problems when studying and you've got so much going on in your life. Here are a few recommendations that I would give you when you're feeling tired, blah, 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 blah. So it'd go on like that and it'll take like five minutes or 10 minutes to answer that email. And this is a super, super slow and frustrating way of answering an email. So instead, what you can do with Ghostwriters, hit reply, and basically you get Inky, which is this little chap down here, to use AI to write the email for you. For instance, if I were to reply to this email, all I would need to say is something like reply recommending drinking enough water would be like one thing that you could say. How about studying in a brightly lit room, not getting too comfortable, and maybe one other thing, and let's say going for a walk, okay? So we recommend a few things. We don't write the whole email, we just like write a bullet point version of that email, and then we just hit write. And using those bullet points, Ghostwrite basically just gives us a really quick draft of what we could potentially reply with. And you know, it may need a bit of tweaking here and there, but it's a really quick way of just getting you know, those first thoughts onto the page without really having to think about it at all. So it's an absolute game changer when it comes to email productivity. Third, we got consensus. Now, the idea here is that we can use AI to do all of our research for us. So consensus can basically search through millions of different scientific papers and books to find all the relevant information that we need. For example, if I'm writing an essay or writing a video or just curious about how much sleep an adult needs at night, I can go to consensus and find all the relevant scientific information and research on that topic. So let's type that in now. 
So from there, I'm given a whole bunch of different sentences extracted from different scientific papers about the amount of sleep that I ought to get. Then if a paper or an extract looks kind of interesting, I can then click on that result uh, to find out more information about that specific paper. Sometimes I'll also decide that I want to find some interesting and relevant information from books too. And this is where Talk to Books comes in really handy. And it uses AI to search through a whole ton of different books to find relevant extracts and paragraphs from books on the particular topic that I'm interested in. For example, if I type into Talk to Books, how much sleep uh, does an adult need? I'll be given like a bunch of quotes from different books that will hopefully answer that query, as you can see here. So by using consensus and talk to books, I can do pretty thorough research into whatever topic interests me without having to do too much digging myself. Okay, so fourthly, we've got snipped. Now, I've been consuming a whole ton of content from podcasts and videos and books and things like that because there's just so much great stuff that we can learn from these various different resources. But the problem I'm finding is that this whole process of like listening to those things or watching those things and then capturing those pieces of information that resonates with me was taking a long time, so I wanted to find some sort of tool to make that process easier. This was when I stumbled across Snipped. So Snipped is a phone app, and as we can see here, um, it's basically a, an app that uses AI to make listening to podcasts a really effective way to learn stuff. So by turning each podcast into a bunch of small chapters, as we can see here, I can quickly find out what stuff is actually worth listening to, and once I found something interesting, I can turn those small chapters into a short summary with the key takeaways given to me. And so if I quite like those little takeaways that they give me, I'll chuck those straight into Apple Notes, which is my second brain. I made a video on my second brain somewhere over here, which you can check out, but I'll chuck those into my second brain and I'll make a few comments on that so that I've always got access to those particular interesting takeaways and key learnings from that podcast. This whole process used to take me like 30 to 45 minutes per podcast, but now I can get the whole thing done in about five to 10 minutes. It's incredible. There's also a really similar AI tool that I've been enjoying recently called Summarize.tech, and this works in a very similar way to Snipped, but for YouTube videos. So all we need to do is find a YouTube video that we may find interesting interesting, such as this one here, we copy the URL and we go over to summarize.tech and paste it in that field and press enter, like so. And basically from that we're given a quick breakdown of what the video is all about, broken down into five minute sections. And so we can quickly read through this uh, summary, find the particular takeaways that are most interesting to us and then jump directly to that point of the video by clicking on the timestamps. So it's a super quick and easy way of breaking down a YouTube video and finding all the key points from it. Next up we've got copy.ai. Now there are some similarities between copy.ai and ChatGPT, but I turn to copy.ai for basically anything that needs copywriting properly because copy.ai is custom built for that particular purpose. For example, at the moment, I'm in the process of trying to improve my website and one of the main components of that is improving the copy. So for instance, I've used copy.ai to give me some inspiration for my hero page text, for my calls to action and other things on my landing page. I've also tried to use copy.ai to nail my YouTube branding by asking it for help on my value proposition, on my mission statement, and for different things like that. Now, I won't lie, none of the suggestions that it gave me were perfect, but it did help inspire the copy that I have on my website and inspire exactly how I wanted to define my YouTube brand. And finally, we got Midjourney. Now, to be honest with you guys, it's probably the least useful when it comes to productivity, but it's pretty good at inspiring creative thinking and for helping with idea generation. It's basically just a tool that helps us to generate art using AI in a very similar way to OpenAI's Dali to. Like, let's say that I want to create a logo for my business. I can basically ask Midjourney to think of creative ideas of what my particular image may look like. So I give it some suggestions like I want to see a polar bear playing golf on the moon or something stupid like that. And Dali 2 will do some work, do some thinking and pump out those images that I told it to create. Honestly, for me, I found Midjourney just to be a lot of fun. But if you're into art and design, I'm sure there are plenty of decent use cases for it. So do make sure you check it out. Anyway, that's it for now. If you want to be more productive using AI, then make sure you download my cheat sheet for ChatGPT and also to try all the tools in this video. Thank you for watching and I shall see you soon. Goodbye.